Red Tide, it's not going away anytime soon. It's at Siesta Key all the way down to Sanibel Island, which is we're talking the Everglades here. It's basically from just south of where we are in St. Petersburg. Here are 10 news studios all the way down through South Florida, and it is continuing to wreak havoc on marine life in the Gulf of Mexico. The sea life there is taking a huge hit. The sights and the smells from red tide are also taking a toll on the economy. Usually packed beaches are empty except for county workers cleaning up the dead fish. It's August. Everyone's on the beach in August, but some people we talked with said they're actually going to avoid going to the beach altogether until this situation improves. So Grant, any relief coming up for the weekend? And the big question that, that people are asking is in our area, you know, Sarasota is part of our viewing area. So right, is of course. beautiful Siesta Beach, uh, Casey Beach down there and Casey Key. Uh, it, has this jumped the Skyway? Is, is, is that a threat that it could be, you know, in Paso Grill and Fort DeSoto at some point? It soon? doesn't it doesn't look that way. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of the red tide uh, levels have been noted in Sarasota County, a little bit of manatee, but mainly in, in Sarasota County where it's been really high. But our right. weather pattern, Rob, has been such where any of that red tide has been just pushed up against the coast. The southwesterly flow, the winds have been pushing that red tide closer and closer to the coast. We've seen that for this past week. Right. So just that, I mean, it, it can't go anywhere. So it just, just dammed up against our coast. Here's the good news, though, guys. As we go into our weekend, into the first part of next week, this area of high pressure that has been blocking the whole pattern for the last week and a half or so, that will begin to shift more to the west. Not only does it bring us nicer weather right. to go to the beach, yeah. but we hope that we start to see some improved conditions where more of a southwesterly flow that hopefully begins to push the red tide away from our coast. Right. And that's what the forecast models are showing. This is the forecast trajectories of those red tide cells. So here's Pinellas County, here's Manatee, here's Sarasota. So that red line right there, I'm gonna have Tom bring the camera in a little bit closer so you guys at home can see this. This is the cells the forecasts are tracking to go away from the coast. It's still going to be paralleling the coast a little bit, but that more of an easterly component hopefully pushes more of that red tide away from our coast. It may take a while to improve these conditions, but that's at least the pattern shift that we're hoping for to bring improved conditions. Oh, geez, Grant, it's so fascinating. You know, I have family down here in the Nokomis area, yeah. and they're dealing with it right now. I was reading about a, a red tide bloom we had about 10 years ago. It lasted for almost 17 months. So we see red tide in the Gulf almost every year in it's, some capacity. It's a natural, normal occurrence, right. but this is just the worst that it's been in yeah. a while. Yeah. Okay, Grant, thank you very much.